Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're going to be uh, modeling this project. That is, uh, this is actually just a simple hand-drawn uh, sketch uh, by uh, this artist, Archihab. And uh, I actually want to recommend you to check his Instagram. Uh, he has quite a few uh, very stunning uh, projects here that he was doing, just sketching. And I found it quite uh, astonishing. So check him out for sure. I'm sure you will have a lot of inspiration. And uh, uh, having said that, we're actually going to be modeling one of his sketches. And uh, the, the interesting thing about this one is that we're going to be using some tools that are still in development. Uh, this version of Rhino that I'm using is called uh, Rhino uh, Serengeti version uh, work in progress, which means this is going to be uh, Rhino 7 features. So they're still not published, but uh, you can get these tools if you if you have the license for Rhino 6. So uh, we're going to be I'm going to be showing you some of these tools and how you can actually create this geometry without using uh, these plans as we used before uh, in the previous tutorials. So uh, let's get started. I'm just gonna drag and drop this image here and uh, let's see. Uh, let's stretch it out and let's see. Uh, what we can use here. I'm gonna simply here. All right, so let's trim this guy on top and on the bottom and let's say that this is going to be our uh, reference image. So as you can see here uh, how we can start doing this is by just creating a simple uh, simple polygon on top uh, and from that we're gonna stretch it down. So I'm just gonna go to the top view here and use this option here that says create sub D plane. All right, so I'll go here and I'll put this X count to let's say eight and we'll keep the Y count to three. And I'm just gonna create one, uh, one rectangle like this. And uh, it's important to know that uh, there's, there's a small uh, workaround for this uh, round edges here. So you can see that, for example, if I go for, to the top, uh, this last segment has these filleted edges. But for example, if you want to use this tool without those filleted edges, right now there is no there is no uh, easy way you can do it. So uh, what I do, I usually create uh, this grid as the one that I want. And then I just add uh, two more on the sides and then later on I delete them. So for example, this means that I will have, uh, let's say six, uh, six in, in, in X and three in Y. And I add those two at the ends because I just need uh, need them uh, for 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 uh, for this tool to work. So I'm just gonna go now and uh, I'm gonna play around with this, and let's see let's see the result that we're gonna get. So again, I'm gonna go to F10, and uh, I'm going to select, for example, this uh, this face. I'm selecting this face by holding Control and Shift and clicking, and then I'm gonna just gonna drag it like this, and you can see the effect that I'm gonna get. I can also drag the, the individual points and get that transition uh, the uh, uh, nice and smooth, just, just like I wanted here. So uh, I'm just gonna now play around with this. I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I'm gonna be uh, moving a lot of these faces and then uh, let's see what the result would be. Of course, I'm gonna try to, to make it as close as possible to the actual, uh, to the actual design here that we have. All right, so now once we have this uh, geometry ready, uh, we can copy it, copy it like this on the bottom, approximately get that distance here from the drawing. And now, uh, now what we need to do is actually modi modify this bottom area. So I'm gonna turn on the control points and I'm just gonna approximately get that to the desired uh, design here, just like we have here. And let's say that I'm happy with this. Of course, uh, you can play around with it more, you can get different 
shapes here, but I think this is this is enough for this demonstration. And then uh, once we're we're ready, we can continue on. So I'm gonna go to the top. I'm gonna create a polyline here. I'm just going to create these two lines here and here, and these will be my cut lines. So uh, let's extrude them up, and let's see if this is all right. I think it's okay. Something like this. And if these proportions are fine, we're going to cut them. So uh, I'm just going to use split command. And now we're going to transform this subdivision uh, objects to polysurface objects. And you can see that now we have different kind of geometry here. And I'm going to use all of these to connect them. I'm going to say extrude curve direction go from top to the bottom. And let's join these guys join and uh, that that should be that for this design and of course uh, one cool thing that I can do is uh, I can create these fillets as well so I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna use uh, let's say this tool and let's just create a nice fillet here like this and let's trim the rest and I'm gonna use the same kind of circle I created for this side as well. Now let's use trim and there you go. So now what we can do is uh, we can create uh, we can create uh, the offset or before that we can maybe create some fillet here. So I'm gonna say fillet, uh, fillet edge and I'm gonna first uh, check to see uh, if this radius will work. And then if not, we're going to increase it. So you can see here, when I click here, that you have one showing you how big uh, the fillet will be. So in our case, uh, we need to change it. So let's go to, let's say, three. And I'm going to just see. Okay, so three is better. So let's do all of them once again. Three. And let's uh, click yeah that should be fine let's click enter and now we should get this nice fillet and let's do this one more time on the bottom and there you go so now we have those fillets and now the last thing we can do is create uh, create the actual offset so I'm gonna use uh, uh, offset surface and let's go let's go to the inside actually and let's bring this to something like let's say 0 0.2 and let's see the result Okay, too thin, let's go again. Uh, let's go with one or 1.5. Okay, so something like this. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, two would be, two would be better, 2.2 .2 for example. And I think this should be fine. All right, so that's, uh, that's, that's one way uh, you can create this. And you can see that we have this nice uh, transition here as we have there. And uh, one cool thing you can do now uh, here is uh, you can also create this uh, bottom bottom uh, line there and then you can uh, connect it with the rest. So I'm gonna go to, the, to this side here and I'm going to use this tool here to create this line. So let's say that we start like this we start with a straight line and then uh, this goes something like that and goes to the, into the ground and uh, I'm gonna do the same here uh, the same the same thing on, on this side so let's say that this is how it ends up and uh, I'm going to uh, straighten these guys out with set point let's bring them to the y direction sorry to the Z direction to be straight and the same thing should do should we should do with the rest on this side like this okay so let's say that this is going to be our uh, our side and let's bring them let's bring them somewhere closer like this okay and uh, at this point i'm going to basically just connect these two it doesn't really matter because we will trim it trim it out so 
I'm going to go here to the side and I'll connect these two. Let's use this command again. Let's trim it. Okay, so I'm going to join these two. This, and now once we have this, let's go uh, on this side and maybe check to see where we want this guy to start from. So I'm going to say from here. something like this and on this side we're gonna start with these from there okay and uh, now one thing we can do we can actually uh, split this actually just go from here bring it a little bit down like so and now I'm gonna use this edge here I'm actually selecting all of these edges here, like so. I'm gonna say duplicate edge, and I'm gonna use this guy, and I'm gonna isolate these two. And I will use, for example, uh, something like this here and here. And let's trim the rest. So I'm gonna use trim, I'm gonna trim these guys okay. okay so once that is once that is done let's select all of these uh, let's join them and let's do sweep too there you go you can see that we have uh, some bad lining here so the way to correct it correct this is to just uh, go again sweep two. And now I can say here add slash and I'm just going to click from here to let's say here and one more time there and there and that should be much much better now. Okay and we have this uh, surface now so now I can see that we get much better result here and if you're wondering uh, how this will work we'll just uh, we'll just use this and we'll just extrude it all the way up here and then we can maybe cut it from this line where the fillet is. Like this, let's do boolean split and we have our uh, model here and of course if you can see here that it's not going all the way that's fine but uh, we can you can fix this later on if you want but for now this is just for this front front end and uh, once once that is done you can see here there is a ground there so I'm gonna go here to the side view and create the same kind of ground so something like this and I'm gonna cut this through and let's do boolean split let's cut it and that should be it. So this should be our our setup. And the last thing that that uh, we will add, we'll add some some windows like here. So I'm go I'm gonna go to the top, and from here I will basically create some kind of rectangle like this. And I'll use this rectangle as my place to put the windows in. And uh, of course, I'll do some fillets here. Let's see. Yeah, this should work. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just extrude this up like this. And I will simply say, uh, I'll simply say split. I'm going to split this window with this geometry. And I'm going to delete this. And there you have the windows. Uh, you can also create the windows in the back if you want. So I'm going to go to the top again and let's do the same thing just uh, here on a smaller scale because you can see that they are a little bit inside like this. Let's do fillet of one again and let's bring this guy all the way up like this. All right, so here is this line and uh, we're going to actually move it inside a little bit here 
and let's do also fill it here of one just so so they are all the same and one more here we forgot this one and let's say that this will be our our bottom bottom area and let's create also a line here and let's split it so let's do split with these two and there's our windows there on the bottom and that would be our model here and let's just uh, bring everything up let's go move and let's bring this to the center there you go select curves hide and that's our that's our result so i uh, hope that you like this tutorial uh, if you have any questions about uh, subdivision tools please let me know if you have any other additional uh, requests for future tutorials also please feel free to put your comment in the comment section below or if you think that uh, we could have designed this and modeled in some other way uh, i'm open to your suggestions and as always uh, take care and see you in the next tutorial